Loneliness is a sort of a disease, you know. It's like being a, a nervous person or, or something like that. It's a weird thing, you know. You need to be involved in it before you can understand it, you know. There's a very few people who would be facing loneliness the way I was. My loneliness was different. I mean, I, I needed a person who I could communicate with. You think loneliness is an illness, and I think everybody's circumstances, whether you're a carer or whatever, loneliness is, I would say, loneliness is an illness, and you need something, something to take that away. You need some kind of interest to take you away from what you're doing. You need someone to talk to. You need company. It's a very dark place. You know, it's not a nice place to be lonely. It's dark. And coming back to an empty house, it's not a nice place to be in. I don't think there is a simple answer to telling if somebody is lonely, because everybody's individual and each will have their own ways of dealing with their loneliness. And you mustn't confuse being alone with being lonely. So somebody can come in as an individual into a group and they may not be lonely. Somebody could come with a couple of friends, but they might be lonely. So I think it's important to be aware that loneliness shows itself in many different ways. It feels like a pit that you're not happy and you, you just feel like despair because you, you don't want to feel like that, but at the same time, you don't know how to get out of it. You can be in a crowd, you can be out on the town, but you can still feel alone. If you had someone there to help you overcome that part, it gives you an incentive to come out of yourself. Yes, si signs of loneliness, I think, can differ as well, depending on the type of loneliness people are experiencing. Uh, as I say, from my, my own personal experience was um, when my father lost my mother, it was that sort of emotional connection um, where he was very sociable, very outgoing, but again, when he would come home, he would have said how lonely it was to come home to the quiet house, to nobody in the house, to nobody being there, nobody to talk to. Um, I think it's just different, different types, whatever the person's experiencing at that time. Sometimes it's difficult to find out if somebody's lonely. Uh, when, when somebody's lonely, they feel that they've lost something. They've lost the community, etc. And to help them to come back into the community is by supporting them and um, also when, when you support them, make sure that you do it for them and not for yourself. That's the main thing. The thing is, I am on my own here. And I think for people that are on their own and have nobody belonging to them, would benefit more from going to them groups because we, we will meet new people and have someone to have a conversation with. Signs of loneliness, you know, you can be part of a spectrum. One person could be very quiet and not want to speak to anybody. Another person may be overcompensating and talking a lot. So it's really just being open and sensitive to an individual's needs. It's in my nature to, to have a partner, and then I hadn't got one. You know, my wife died, and I didn't know where I was, because even if I could just talk to her, I would be okay. But I had nobody at all. Once my wife died, I found out what loneliness was, and until then, I didn't know what loneliness was. I worked till 71. I was an auxiliary nurse. There were some very hard times. I worked in a hospital and loved it. Then my husband took ill, and I nursed my husband night and day till he died. I have a daughter and grandson. They are my life. During my husband's illness, I was given eight weeks of respite activities. I played tennis and then heard of Engage with Ages group.